Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Jamal, and today we're going to be talking about another important topic. For decades, Morocco and Algeria's relations have been marked by tension. And over the past few years, the level of verbal attacks has escalated to the point that there were actually concerns about a direct military conflict. Morocco and Algeria's land border has been closed since 1994. Algerian airspace was closed to Morocco and Algeria refused to extend the contract for the gas pipeline which transported gas from Algeria to Europe through Morocco. The whole issue can be summarized in the fact that both countries want to have an increased influence in the region. If you are interested more about this issue from a political perspective, please read my article in Amazigh World News. But that's regarding the two regimes, that's regarding the two governments. What about the people? Is this conflict only between the two governments or has it actually shifted to affect the people themselves? In fact, Moroccans and Algerians are so similar that it's impossible to tell them apart. They almost speak the same language, both countries are predominantly Muslims, and the culture is pretty much the same. However, political and ideological differences between these two countries have taken a toll on their relations. Recently, there have been a number of disputes on social media regarding couscous architecture and some issues regarding historical events. For example, in a response to the Algerian new training outfit, which was introduced by Adidas, the Moroccan government has accused Algeria of cultural appropriation. The Moroccan government and the Moroccan people themselves argue that the geometric design, which is typical in Moroccan Zalij mosaics, represented a cultural appropriation from the part of Algeria and accuse Algeria of cultural theft. Whether a specific architecture is Moroccan or Algerian, whether Morocco has more rights to couscous than Algeria, it seems to me that the only reason individuals from both countries accuse each other, argue about these issues, is because they're both Arabized. Couscous is neither Moroccan nor Algerian. You can also say couscous is Moroccan and Algerian as well. Because couscous is an ethnic Amazigh food. It is unique to North Africa and unique to the Amazigh people. Because couscous is an Amazigh ethnic food, it is obvious that it's going to be found in most of North Africa. Because Morocco and Algeria are recent nation states, before the independence, these regions were basically known as the Great Maghreb. So it makes sense to find the same architecture both in Morocco and Algeria because this architecture is uniquely North African. Maybe when both countries decide to go back to their roots and embrace their identity, maybe then we're not going to be arguing about whether couscous is Moroccan or Algerian, whether this architecture is unique to Morocco or Algeria, because all of these cultural and historical aspects are actually unique to North Africa. What these two North Africans should be mindful of is that other countries that are far, far away from North Africa are trying to claim Amazigh culture, history, and heritage. But one thing is for sure, the troubled relationship between Morocco and Algeria has prevented the region's integration, which might have significant advantages for both people. Another thing that's for sure is that some foreign powers are very happy to see the two brotherly Amazigh countries fighting amongst each other. These clashes online between the Moroccan people and Algerian people actually stems from the fact that both people don't really know that much about each other. A few weeks ago, I was in Boston and I was so surprised to find out about the similarities that we have in food, not just couscous. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like it, please like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you. Have a great day.